This is Dr. Mark Winnegar and my HTML prep course. And the topic of this podcast is definition lists. So let's go ahead and load up Text Wrangler and look at our web page so far. Again, this is our practice page, and I've gone ahead and changed the heading to definition list. So let's come down and if we wanted an unordered list, we would start with the tag UL. An ordered list would be an OL tag. A definition list is a DL tag. And again, it's a toggle tag, so we'll turn it off. All right, so now we need to put something into our definition list. And since I teach computer science, let's put in some computer terms. The first thing I need to do is define the definition term. So my tag is DT for definition term. And again, it's a toggle tag, so I have to turn it on and turn it off. And then in the middle, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put in a term, COBOL. And then I'm going to put in the definition. And since I'm at the definition list, and I'm putting in a definition, my tag is double D. Whoops. Now, go ahead and end it. And now let's put in what the definition of COBOL is. It is the common business oriented language. I've left the letters in the acronym COBOL capitalized. I could make them big. Let's do that. I think we're going to run off the Screen though. So let's just break it between two lines. I don't know if you noticed that. But that time, rather than big, I typed Bing. Okay, let's put in another one. Again, we need a definition term. And the term I'm going to put in is HTML. And by now, you should know what HTML stands for. We'll put in our definition, and it is the hyper H Y P E R Here I go with the being again. Tech. M for markup and L for <laughs> long. 
There we go. Language. So it should be the hypertext markup language. Okay, we've got a couple of terms. So let's go ahead and let's save this out. And let's go over to my projects folder and click on the practice. And there we go. Let me expand the size of it a little bit so you can see it better. And there's our definition list. COBOL, the common business oriented language, HTML, the hypertext markup language. And of course, we could keep adding to this, but I think we've done enough that you understand how it works. If you have any questions, let me know.